We are counting down the top 10 most valuable Marvel comics of the year 1959. At this time, the company was called Atlas Comics. Here's a list of the four new titles that the company debuted in 1959, all with brand new number one issues. And you'll see that the two big important issues of the year are the two new sci-fi slash horror slash uh, monster titles that they debuted. Tales of Suspense and Tales to Astonish would both debut with cover dates of January 1959 and would run for nine years each and would eventually switch to superhero titles. These books made a big splash on the market and at this time they actually cancelled two titles, World of Fantasy and Strange Worlds, which were also sort of in the same genre. So all they did was flip to new titles. And you're going to see the importance of these comics as they dominate our top 10 most valuable comics of the year. Starting with number 10 is Tales of Suspense, number 5. And this is the number 10 comic of the year. And it's got a monster cover. And... Tales of Suspense, number 5, is of course the 5th issue. The monster covers start with art by Jack Kirby. On the CGC census, you can see that demand has definitely been growing. 65 copies graded now, still not very many on the market, still a rare book, but uh, it's definitely growing. There are two super high grade copies grading 9.0 or higher on the CGC census. Heritage has sold only 20 copies of this issue in the last two decades. 10 cent cover price, Comics Code Authority approved. Using the Overstreet Annual Price Guide, we can look at all conditions and price growth year by year. And you can see that this title's got a nice slow but steady growth in all conditions from low to high grade. And on the census, the highest graded copy is a 9.2. The number nine comic of the year is Tales to Astonish, number five on the newsstands at the same time. We have a prototype issue of the Stone Men, and this is the first of four different Stone Men prototype issues. Jack Kirby cover art, Steve Ditko and Al Williamson also contributed interior art. On the CGC census, you can see there's 61 copies graded, two high grade copies, Heritage has sold 23. In the Overstreet Price Guide, again, slow but steady growth year by year. It's now a $2,500 book in raw 9.2 grade. On the census, there are two copies graded 9.2. The number eight comic of the year, Tales to Astonish, number four. Jack Kirby cover art on this issue. Some of his famous facial gestures. We've also got Steve Ditko, Joe Sinnott, and Don Heck interior art. 63 copies graded, three high grade copies. Heritage has sold 27 of this one. And here you see the Martian aliens are carrying away a human prisoner. In the Overstreet Price Guide, this is a $2,900 book. And again, steady growth in all grades, all conditions, year by year. And this book has really uh, jumped in, it's tripled in the last 10 years. There is a 9.4 and a 9.2 of this issue. Number seven valuable book of the year is Tales to Astonish, number three. This also features a Jack Kirby cover art. Paul Reinman and Steve Ditko interior art ranks 26 most valuable Marvel comic of the entire decade of the 50s. Lots more copies of this graded. 80 copies graded, two high grade copies, and 33 sold by Heritage. At first glance, this kind of reminds me of uh, Iron Man. And again, the same steady growth, slow but steady in all grades. Also a $2,900 book. There is a 9.2 and a 9.0 of this book. Number six of the year is Tales of Suspense, number four. Jack Kirby cover art again. Another Martian monster cover. We've got Al, Al Williamson and Steve Ditko interior art. Number 22, most valuable of the decade. This one definitely growing in popularity on the CGC census, up to 59 copies. Only one high grade copy. Heritage has sold 27. This is now a $3,000 book. Again, slow, steady growth in all grades. And the highest graded copy is a 9.2. 
Number five of the year is Tales of Suspense, number three. Flying Saucer cover art by Jack Kirby. And again, Joe Stevico and Joe Sinnott interior artwork on this book. 21 of the decade, fifth of the year. 78 copies graded, three high grade copies. Heritage has sold 43 of these. In the Overstreet Price Guide, this is a $3,200 book. Again, slow, steady growth in all grades year by year. There is surprisingly a 9.4 of this book. And, uh, where is that? And it's a 9.6. And there's also a 9.2 of this book. Number four comic of the year is Tales to Astonish, number two. Flying Saucer cover by Steve Ditko this time. Don Heck, Joe Sinnott, and John Basima. Interior art. CGC graded 92 copies of this Martian UFO cover. Two high-grade copies, 43 sold at Heritage. This is a $3,450 book in the Overstreet Price Guide. Slow, steady growth. Consistent with all of these books. There's a 9.2 and a 9.0. The number three comic of the year is Tales of Suspense, number two. This is the second issue. It predates the Marvel Superhero Silver Age issues. Steve Ditko cover. There are no super high grade copies of this. Ranks 14th most valuable book of the decade. 97 copies graded. There are no high grade copies of this book. And Heritage has sold 38. Black background cover. Nice, uh sci-fi futuristic police car there on the cover this is a $3,700 book now this book's moving up a little bit faster year by year there is only an 8.5 ranking as the highest graded copy out there number two comic of the year is tales of suspense number one this key iconic issue one of the most important comics produced by marvel in the late 50s early 60s Another sci-fi uh, Martian, an astronaut type cover. We've got from Don Heck. We also have John Basima, Steve Ditko, and Al Williamson interior art. This series would later just switch to superheroes and give us Iron Man four years later. This is the number three most valuable Marvel comic of the entire 1950s. There are 198 copies graded of this book. One high grade only. Heritage has sold 58 of this book. Over Street, definitely steady growth, very safe, good investment, this book. If you look in the last 15 years alone, the book has more than tripled in lowest grades and in high grades, it's gone up over five times. It's price always moving up, hard to find. Everybody wants this key book at number one. And on the census, the highest grade is a 9.0, which brings us to the number one most valuable iconic Marvel comic of 1959, and it is Tales to Astonish, number one. Jack Kirby, monster cover, 10 cent cover price, black background, Steve Ditko and Jack Davis interior art. This would stay as a monster sci-fi title until Ant-Man debuted in issue number 27, three years later. This is the number two most valuable Marvel comic of the decade and number one of the year. 156 copies graded. There are still no high grade copies at all existing on the census. Heritage has sold 50 copies of this book. Overstreet Price Guide. This is now over a $14,000 book. Again, nice steady growth in all grades. And of course, in most cases, the only chance you'll ever get to buy a copy is a low grade copy. They're just not out there. And on the census, the highest graded copy is an 8.5, but there is a restored 9.0. Now let's compare the top 10 books of the year on the CGC census. Now, this is an incredible year because two titles dominated the entire top 10. That's a bit unheard of, but that was the case because this was the two hot new series debuting this year. And people love collecting early issues, especially number ones. On the census, Tales of Suspense, number one, by far has the most copies graded. And then, of course, Tales to Astonish, number one. But then the numbers dropped down quite significantly. Tales of Suspense, four, has only 59 copies graded. Tales of Suspense 3 we see was the only book with a super high grade copy in a 9.6.
but Tales to Astonish 4 had a 9.4. After that, 9.2 is generally the highest grade copy you'll find, but consider there's only one lone copy of each of these, so tough to find in high grade any of these books. So, there you go. The top 10 most valuable Marvel Atlas comics of 1959, dominated by two new titles. We do this series every week. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos, and we thank you for watching.